So let's look at an example. So in this case, we're trying to figure out whether chromium is being oxidized or reduced in this case. So we're going to look at the find the oxidation number of chromium over here and over here. So we'll do the same process. So this time we've got 2x because we've got two chromiums. So 2x, 7 oxygens, so 7 times minus 2. And that equals minus 2. That's our charge there. So 2x minus 14 equals minus 2. So we add 14 to both sides. So 2x equals plus 12. x equals 12 on 6 equals plus 6. So in this case, chromium over here, the oxidation number of chromium is plus 6. If we have a look on this side, we're going to go back to one of our rules from a little while ago. If we go back, the oxidation number of a monatomic ion equals the charge of that ion. So the charge of the chromium ion here is plus 3, so the oxidation number is simply plus 3. Okay, so we've gone from plus 6 to plus 3, that means the oxidation number has decreased. So if we go back here, the oxidation number has decreased, that means the chromium has been reduced in that case. So in this case, it's reduced. Okay. Do one final example. We'll look at sulfur in this case. So sulfur dioxide going to the sulfate ion, is it being oxidized or reduced? So over here we've got x plus 2 times minus 2 equals 0 because there's no charge up here. So x minus 4 equals 0, so x equals plus 4. Remember to always write the charge down. Over this side we've got x plus 4 times minus 2 equals minus 2 because we've got a charge up here. So x minus 8 equals minus 2, so x equals plus 6. So add 8 to both sides and we get plus 6. So if we write those up here, so we've got plus 4 here and plus 6 here. Go back to our rule. If the oxidation number increases, then this, the element is being oxidized. So in this case, we're going from plus 4 to plus 6, so that means it's being oxidized. It's getting bigger. Alright, so that's a look at oxidation numbers and oxidation states and how to find them.